Hello, fit and healthy friends. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Holly of Renewal Fitness and Nutrition Coaching, and we are continuing on the journey of training for a half marathon where I'm sharing what I'm doing so that I can share tips and ideas with you to help you with your run, and run training from both a fitness and physical perspective as well as a nutrition component perspective. So on the docket for today, my husband and I are doing a six to seven mile run depending on how we're feeling. And then I will also be working on some gut training in terms of hydration and taking on a little bit of food during this run. This, as I said, we're gonna feel this out a little bit because we did a bike ride yesterday that was close to 50 miles. Legs are pretty tired from that. And it's very important to listen to your body. So even though in theory, maybe we should be doing like seven or eight miles this week, we don't want to trash our legs or potentially cause injury. So we're gonna take it a little bit easier, just focus on zone two, easy pacing, just getting the miles in, recovering from the bike ride, and just having a good solid run. So keep in mind that it is good to be flexible with your training program. Even if you have a really solid training program from a coach or yourself or you found online, you also need to listen to your body. So generally stick with the plan as much as you can, but if you're feeling super tired, worn out, something's hurting in a way that is not good or normal, it's important to know when to maybe just back off a little bit, go a little bit easier. Um, maybe there are days you can even go a little bit harder. And as I said in my last video with women, this isn't particularly important. If you are going through that time of the month or you're PMSing, that is the best time to back off a little bit Take it easy, you're gonna be more prone to injury during this time. And then once you pass that, you can get right back into that hard training. Not only will this help to keep you safer, but it'll also just make the process more fun and it's more likely that you'll stick with it and perform better over the long haul. For pre-run breakfast, I'm doing two pieces. I already started one of this Trader Joe's gluten-free cinnamon raisin bread. That's 30 carbohydrates. <clears throat> A scoop of this Lucid coffee for a little bit of caffeine, but not too much. And then on the toast, I'm doing a little bit of macadamia nut butter for just a little bit of fat, but not too much so that it doesn't slow down digestion. I'm also, for a little extra sugar, I'm adding on some pumpkin butter. And then in my water for the run, I'm doing a little bit of glutamine because that can help um, with sort of protecting the gut lining. Um, also helps with muscle repair. So that's going in here with a little bit of electrolytes to get both electrolytes and a little bit of extra sugar because I don't digest a lot of food well while I'm running. So putting it in liquid form really helps. All right, we are here and ready to run. So the goal of today's run for me is to increase my water intake. I am not great at drinking water when I run and typically if I drink too much, I end up with like a side stitch, a stomach cramp. So I'm trying to train my gut and body to take on more water. One of the benefits of drinking more water is that it can actually help with GI symptoms. And of course it helps you stay hydrated and the more hydrated, are, the hydrated you are, the better you will perform. So I've got about 10 ounces of water with electrolytes in here and I'm gonna see how much I can get through without getting stomach cramps. Otherwise, this is just gonna be an easy run today, zone two, comfortable pace for about six miles. We're a little over four miles in. So far, so good. Stomach's good. A um, little bit iffy in the beginning. I could kind of tell there was potential to get a cramp. So for me, what I've learned is if I feel that, I can't push any faster. If I try to go faster, um, I'll probably end up with a side stitch, but today is a nice comfortable run, so there's no need to be pushing anyway. So I probably made it through about half of my water, doing good. Also, I just took a cliff block. These seem to work really well for me when running. Don't give me stomach issues, and I can just take a little bit at a time, but it's a good amount of sugar. So I'm trying to get used to eating more when I run. So even though it's a one hour run, and I don't really need more food for an hour. I'm doing it anyway to try to train my gut and figure out which gels and chews and foods work best for me. So highly recommend that you do the same. Try different foods, different brands to figure out what works best for your stomach and performance. 
They're pretty successful on the water. This is at about four ounces, so I got through six ounces in an hour, which I know is not a lot of water, but for me, that's actually pretty good and no stomach issues. All right, so when it's all said and done, we got 6.655 miles at one hour, 906 minute pace, and this has 149 BPM, but I wasn't wearing a heart rate monitor, so that's not accurate. It was easier than that. And that's a wrap.